in this video uh, we will discuss about important viva questions and answers that is uh, related to calorimetry that is nothing but heat of neutralization or enthalpy of neutralization the practical viva questions and answers that is important for msc and bsc practical examination we will discuss important viva questions they will ask in msc and bsc practical examination we will discuss one by one and first one is what is heat of neutralization or enthalpy of neutralization heat of neutralization or enthalpy neutralization is nothing but heat of neutralization of an acid or base is the enthalpy change enthalpy change when one gram equivalent of acid is neutralized by a base or vice versa it is called heat of neutralization or enthalpy of neutralization it is called heat of neutralization or enthalpy of neutralization enthalpy change agutte yavaga 1 gram equivalent weight of acid in a neutralize madadaga base jothege athwa vice versa madadaga enthalpy change agutte that is called heat of neutralization or enthalpy of neutralization the second question what is enthalpy of solution the enthalpy change taking place when one mole of substance is dissolved in a specific number of moles of solvent at a particular temperature and pressure is called enthalpy of solution or heat of solution angandre enu enthalpy change agutte when one mole of substance na dissolve maartivi okay in a specific number of specified number of moles of solvent at a particular temperature and pressure it is called enthalpy of solution or heat of solution third question why why is temperature is recorded with a thermometer calibrated to 1 by 3rd degree okay yake idana navu idu martu record martu ide in order to get accurate results uh, we are using um, calibrated thermometer of 1 by 3rd uh, degree it is answered in order to get accurate results we are using fourth question what is the enthalpy of neutralization of a strong acid and a strong base idu specific ga kelidare what is the meaning of enthalpy of neutralization of a strong acid and strong base what is the meaning of strong acid the substance undergoes ionization and gives more number of h plus ions is called strong acid yavade ond acid more number of h plus ions kotre adanna ey ant karitivi strong acid ant karitivi strong base andre it gives more number of oh minus ions it is called strong base okay illi ant kelidare what is the meaning of enthalpy neutralization in the case of strong acid and strong base al answer enu when 1 gram equivalent of strong acid is neutralized by 1 gram equivalent of strong base or vice versa then the enthalpy change is always equal to minus mm, 57.3 kilojoule per mole irutte andre adar value en irutte enthalpy neutralization do value uh, in the case of strong acid uh, versus strong base en agirutte andre approximately equal to minus 57.3 kilojoule per mole agirutte andre now 1 mole of 1 uh, gram equivalent weight of uh, acid na now neutralize madidvi by using uh, strong base okay avaga enthalpy change estik equal agirutte it is approximately equal to minus 57.3 kilojoule per mole idu important for any uh, strong acid versus strong base what is the value of enthalpy of neutralization it is approximately equal to minus 57.3 kilojoule per mole it is the answer in the case of any strong acid versus strong base the value is approximately equal to minus minus 57.3 kilojoule per mole what is calorimetric constant the calorimetric constant it is uh, denoted by c cal 
means calorimetric constant or W is a constant that quantifies the heat capacity of calorimeter. Okay, and then it is a ratio of the change in the enthalpy to the change in the temperature. It is called calorimetric constant. Okay, and then the calorimetric constant is then calculated by dividing the change in the enthalpy that is delta H by the change in the temperature that is delta T means delta H divided by delta T that ratio is called calorimetric constant. Sixth one. Define water equivalent of thermos flask. The water equivalent of thermos flask is the quantity of heat is required by the thermos flask to raise the, its temperature by 1 degree Celsius. It's called water equivalent of thermos flask. And the, uh, heat is required by the thermos flask to raise its temperature by 1 degree Celsius. It's called water equivalent of thermos flask next what is the difference between calorimetry and calorimetry let's see a is the c o is the difference between calorimetry and calorimetry what is the difference in the case of calorimetry it is a uh, technique used to measure the heat changes during the chemical process calorimetry and you know measure marate heat change na measure marate during uh, any process especially in chemical process whereas calorimetry calorimetry Colorimetry is a scientific technique uh, that is used to determine the concentration of colored solution. Means by using colorimetry, we can find out concentration of the colored compound. By the application of beer lambert's law, beer lambert's law is something but the absorbance is directly proportional to concentration and the path length of the system. It is called beer lambert's law. It is already discussed in the video. Okay. That is called beer lambert's law. Okay. What is the main difference between calorimetry and calorimetry? Calorimetry means it measures the heat changes during chemical process. It is called calorimetry. Calorimetry and reno, it is a technique. By using this technique, we can find out the concentration of the colored compound. It is called calorimetry. Next, why the enthalpy of neutralization of strong acid with strong base is always the same? Now, previous said the issue is the uh, in the case of strong acid versus strong base uh, enthalpy neutralization atwa heat of neutralization issue the approximately is equal to minus 57.3 kilojoule per mole anta nan helide okay no yaki andre this is because in the case of strong acid versus strong base it all uh, it always involves combination of 1 gram equivalent of h plus ions with OH minus ions to form unionized water molecules. And then uh, acid in the end produce uh, acid gives H plus ions, so base gives OH minus ions. Uh, they are combined again again it gives unionized water molecules. Okay, then uh, complete H plus ions so, uh, react uh, with OH minus ions, so it gives water molecules. Therefore, other uh, value constant. Uh, uh, for a reaction of 1 mole of H plus and 1 mole of OH minus ions, minus 13.3 kilo calorie. That is something what? Minus 57 kilo joule per mole. Energy is released. And the is to combine up with is to release out the minus 57 kilo joule per mole. Is to energy release out the. That is something what? Minus 13.6 kilo calorie. Okay. Hmm. Next. The enthalpy of neutralization of acetic acid is same as that of HCl, if not why? And the end uh, heat of neutralization in the case of weak acid versus strong base. Weak acid is the best example of acetic acid versus strong base ke NaOH. Other the value but the strong acid versus strong base, that is HCl versus NaOH is equal to the Usually equal to the because uh, the acetic acid versus NaOH. Acetic acid is a weak acid means it gives less number of H plus ions whereas SL is strong acid because it gives more number of H plus ions here acetic acid is a weak acid okay means it is not complete ionized some heat is used up for the ionization of acetic acid hence the net heat evolved is less and not the same as that of SL which is completely ionized 
and then at the SL complete annihilation at the it gives more number of H plus ion so but in the case of acetic acid to less number of H plus ion so yeah at the um, produce at the less number of H plus ion uh, less value at the okay it is not uh, equal to uh, SL versus NaOH it is less than the SL versus NaOH because it is less number of H plus ion so produce at the therefore really other value Heat of foundation value SCL equal uh, uh, SCL versus NaOH equal It is less than that of SCL versus NaOH. Next, what is exothermic reaction and endothermic reaction? Exothermic reaction means is a chemical reaction in which heat is released or evolved in the form of heat. It is called exothermic reaction. Okay, in the form of heat or any form. Okay, whereas endothermic and you know, a chemical reaction in which heat is absorbed. Heat absorb other endothermic reaction, heat release other exothermic reaction. Thermos flask is an example of which type of system? Thermos flask is an example of isolated system. Example. What is the meaning of isolated system? Cannot change either energy or matter outside the boundaries of the uh, system. Cannot exchange. Okay cannot exchange either energy or matter outside the boundaries of the system change exchange it is not a change cannot exchange cannot exchange either energy or matter outside the boundaries of the system okay it is called isolated uh, system okay cannot exchange either energy or matter outside the boundaries of the system next is sl and NaOH is neutralization reaction uh, means is SCL and NaOH neutralization neutralization is exothermic or endothermic reaction uh, means uh, SCL and NaOH reaction uh, neutralization is exothermic or endothermic here it is uh, exothermic reaction because here during this process what you will get salt and water SCL and NaOH react again NaCl and Water kodate, heat release agate, heat release series in the product side, hence it is exothermic reaction because heat is evolved. Next, what causes the exothermic reaction between SL and NaOH? Because the reaction between SL and NaOH is neutralization reaction, the other example, neutralization reaction example, it results in the formation of NaCl in water since there is more bond formation than bond breaking in this reaction in more bond formation compared to bond breaking therefore delta h is here negative indicating that it is exothermic reaction you know exothermic reaction example what factors uh, affecting on the enthalpy of neutralization factors have the amount of acid and alkali acid and alkali strength acid and alkali basicity depend on the factors next why the enthalpy of neutralization is negative we discuss more if it is evolved then delta h is negative if it is absorbed then delta h is positive okay next what is polybasic acids polybasic acids can produce several hydrogen ions per molecule polybasic and it contains more number of h plus ions so it gives more number of uh, h plus ions during a reaction it is called polybasic acids next one calorie is equal to how many joules one calorie is approximately equal to 4.2 joules okay you know important correction this is this is cannot cannot exchange okay cannot hmm. isolated system means cannot exchange cannot i'm sorry wait Cannot exchange. Cannot exchange energy and matter. Thank you.